Ja, het is niet echt heel lekker weer buiten, dus we gaan heel snel naar binnen. En dat doen we met de krantjes. We hebben ze weer gehaald. Hier de Avisa Noordland. Dat is de grootste krant hier in de regio. En daarvan zit journalist Freddy Torissen nu binnen op ons te wachten. Gezellig winkelcentrum wel hier. Oh. Freddy, welkom. Thank you. First of all, what for club is Glimt? It's a strange club. It's the fairy tale club of Norway these last uh, three, maybe you could say four years. They, um, it's a small club in Norway, and you know, as we are located above the Arctic Circle, so it's, uh, it's strange that in surroundings like this, you could come up with a team performing as well as the Glimt team has done these last couple of years. Uh, they've played so well this season, also on a European level. They, they played 6-1 against Roma at home. They defeated the Celtic 5-1 over two games. What is that secret? The secret, they, they play the, the same system. They've been, they've been playing the same system uh, since 1993. 4-3-3. And they've developed their own 4-3-3 system. And of course, when Håkon Avian comes home, we also need to write a little bit about... Of course. Uh, our young kid who be, be, I think the Glimt coaches have been working hard to get back to Bode Glimt, but they did not succeed. They did? Yes. So they really wanted to have him back. I tell you a secret. Håkon did not play a lot for your club uh -huh. uh, in the last parts of, or in the first half of the 2021. 20, 21. 21, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But then Bode Glimt came and wanted to get him back. And then your coach put Håkon in the team. Okay. Yeah, I noticed. Okay. Yeah. So you saw a change? I saw a change. Okay, and then he didn't want Stri anymore. Straight before the, the window, the, the signing window was okay. close, okay. closing, then it, Håkon started to play. Um, what do you expect of this game tonight? Yeah, I, I expect Aset to be uh, much better than Celtic. I think Aset is a better team now than us that was when you met. When we, we played Celtic. Yes, and, um, but, but uh, Bode Glimt impressed me uh, when they met Celtic uh, because they had a really long season, last season. Uh, the season in Norway hasn't started yet, so Bode Glimt actually is in their own pre-season. Since, I tell you, because it's, it's things that happen to teams in Norway and Sweden. If they go as far as this in the Conference League or Europa League or, or whatever, Budeglint has, since the last game in, uh, against Soria, Luhansk, 9th of December, they've lost six players. Yeah. Four national team players, six players altogether out of the squad. Yeah. Tonight's game, yeah. the starting 11 for Budeglint is good. The starting 11 is good, but if there will be injuries, Bode Glimt are in deep shit. We have uh, four defenders. I think on the bench there will be one in the midfield. If we are lucky, we have one midfielder and he has a really big groin problem. I think he will have an operation pretty soon. And in the front line, we have four substitutes who could go in and do our work, but uh, I will not see one of the four attackers in midfield or in defense. So that's kind of the, the problem for a team in Norway when the season isn't, uh, isn't ready yet. And they won't start, in, it's one month. They will start against Rosenborg at home. So they are in the middle of the preseason. Uh, finally, your prediction. What's it going to be? Huh. Right now, I don't predict, but um, zero, zero. Zero, zero. Okay, you say a draw. A draw. A draw. A draw. Okay, we're going to see. Vanavond dus 9 uur bij ESPN. Uh, FK Bodo Glimt tegen AZ. It's going to be a great game. Yeah, it will. It will be a great experience for Bodo Glimt. Exactly. Thank you, Freddy, for your time.